Okay, so um, we're now going to be picking up stitches um, to knit the left shoulder and I've counted backwards from the edge uh, to the right hand side and marked it with a stitch marker um, to let me know where I need to start picking up stitches. Um, so what we need to do, we need to actually pick the stitches up, not in the stitches themselves, but between two stitches. So we can see these stitch, these are the stitches going upwards. So we're looking at it obviously upside down. Um, and we don't want to be picking up in here. We want to be picking up between the stitches. So can you see, this is a stitch going up and where I've got the stitch marker, that's the space between two stitches. So this is where the first one is going to be. I'm going to be working from right to left picking up the um, stitches that correspond to um, the shoulder that of, of the size that you're knitting in. I'm a bit clumsy here because I'm trying to look through <laughs> my phone rather than at the knitting to make sure I keep everything in frame. Okay, so we're gonna knit, sorry, we're picking up these stitches and then it will look continuous once we carry on knitting. It'll look like, it'll be quite difficult to tell where the actual join is, but that's what we want. So we're gonna go all the way to the end now um, I'm not going to film myself doing all of this because it's pretty straightforward now. So we're going to pick up stitches all the way to the end and then we're going to turn around and knit back. And once we've turned around and we're knitting back, that's going to be row one. So that's when you're going to start counting rows. That'll be row one, which will be on the wrong side. And then row two, which is the first row that we make an increase in because what we're going to be doing is, sorry, a decrease on. Um, so we're going to knit across, pull back, uh, sorry, knit back, which will be row one. And then row two, we're going to start decreasing to shape that back neckline. Okay. So that's pretty self-explanatory in the pattern, I think. I've never had any people with uh, difficulties in that. It's normally this shoulder section that people find difficult to understand. Um, so I'll come back um, and show you the next part that people find tricky. Well, that I've had some queries about, which is when both shoulders have been knit and we start joining the um, center front. So, I'm going to carry on with this and we'll see you, we'll see each other again, sorry, when um, both shoulder portions have been knitted. Thank you. If you have any questions, guys, just uh, drop me a DM or an email. It's katandenny at gmail.com and I'll try to always get back as, to you as quickly as I can. Um, circumstances and children permitting. Thank you and I'll see you soon.